God uses people to get things done. He works through people. He generally just doesn't do things. There are times, but even when he does just, it appears that he just does things, it's because somebody's praying. Do you understand that? Uh, John Wesley, actually several different people said this over time, but they said it seems as though God can do nothing on this earth except first a man pray. And we would say a woman too. Amen. And so there is an aspect where we are co-workers with God and God works through people to get things done. Even in Luke 6.38, it talks about uh, that if you give, it should be given back to you. Isn't that right? Good measure pressed down shall men give unto your bosom. But yet that's God paying you back. Do you get that? So God works through people now. So a uh, <clears throat> couple of things here. First off, uh, whether it's in healing the sick, guess what? God uses people to help him heal the sick. He supplies the power. They supply the hands. They supply the word, whatever it is. But there's a working together. Okay. When it comes to raising the dead, same thing. The dead don't just usually get up. It usually takes somebody calling them back that God works through. The same thing with preaching the gospel. He said, how, how can they know if nobody's preaching? So men have to preach so people can hear so that God can use his power to change men's hearts. Amen? Amen. So there's something we have to do in it. Now, there is also a co-working between God and man when it comes to accomplishing a mission or fulfilling a ministry or a calling. Obviously, Paul, known previously as Saul, had to bow his knee to Jesus and accept the call that God put on his life, and he had to go along with it. And there are some characteristics. Matter of fact, that's what the video is about today, is about some of those characteristics, why I'm, I'm playing it, because I seldom play you videos of other people uh, other than, like, Dr. Summerall or something like that. But uh, this one today I want to bring out on purpose because it is so specific, and I, I told my wife, I was watching this, I'm like, wow, it is like God put this in my hand at exactly this moment. And it's good when he does that because you know he's watching over you and watching over your shoulder and taking care of everything. And, and he, you know, listen, if you ever get past the idea that there are coincidences, Jesus had no coincidences. He didn't believe in coincidences, right? He saw that blind man. They said, why is he blind? He said, because I'm here to heal him. It's not a coincidence. Now, God didn't make that man blind so that Jesus could do it. Jesus said, uh, the reason I'm here is because he's here. I'm here, he's here, so that must mean God wants me to heal him. Man, if you ever get that in your head, you start living that way. Start, everywhere you go when you see a sick person, oh, look at that. God orchestrated this just so that person could get healed. Why? Because I'm here. So you have to start thinking of yourself as if you're actually in the Bible, like I just said. Now, <clears throat> now this is very serious. All right? I mean, this is about as serious as it gets. And when we talk about accomplishing a mission or a call, the Apostle Paul had to follow that call. He had to accept it. He had to accept the mission. And he had to follow through. And God said, listen, my grace is with you. My power is with you. And, but he said, but Paul said, uh, I don't quit. That was the part that Paul supplied. And whenever he, now listen, the enemy will attack you get the opportunity to win or quit. You get to decide. But, and now you look at that situation and you say, there's no way I can beat that. But then you say, but I ain't quitting because God is with me. And at that moment, once, see, God's power doesn't flow through you until you make the decision you're not going to quit. Because why? He ain't going to dump it on you and then you try and walk away with it. No, as soon as you make the decision to move forward, then his grace is what it is. He fills you with his grace so that you're able to move forward into the situation and go through it. That's the way it works. 